Hey, Cassidy. Um, yes. I'm a, I'm a 33-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. I've been doing the low-carb thing for so long. I went to the doctor last week, and she had actually said that my thyroid function seems to be down. Like, I have low operating thyroid. Like, why do you think I have low thyroid? I mean, all I do is work out, and I eat, you know, 1,000 calories a day. Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Why is that? Yeah. So that's the question I think most people have. Yeah. Um, people don't realize like carbohydrates are like basically your body's preferred, preferred energy source, right? So it's kind of like trying to drive your car, like, you know, on the highway, but you have like no gas, right? So it's like, you might get a little bit of somewhere for maybe five minutes and then eventually your car is going to stall out. So when we're talking about thyroid function, just overall optimizing your training, optimizing, you know, let's say you're in a fat loss phase or just your, you know, brain function in general, um, your body is going to need some sort of carbohydrates to thrive off of because that it's, that's its preferred energy source. So for somebody like that, um, depending on, you know, where they're at and how bad, you know, their thyroid function is or, you know, how bad they feel in general, um, there's kind of two different approaches as you could have is you can kind of put them sorry my dogs are fighting in the background if you hear <laughs> dogs um but you could basically you know kind of bump that person's um carbs and calories initially up a little bit just to kind of get them to a place where they're not at like a thousand calories like i wouldn't suggest somebody who's at 800 or a thousand just like slowly really like reverse diet i kind of tend to bump them up first a little bit get them at some sort of a you know like um, I guess, acceptable level of calories that, you know, it's a little bit more than just 800 and then kind of reverse diet and increase their carbohydrate intake from there um, and get their body actually functionally normally again. Um, and it takes time. It's not something that, you know, can happen within one month. Like you can't expect to kind of be in that place and then in one month of increasing calories, like now all of a sudden you have a prime metabolism. It happens over months of time. Um, so, you know, that would be my initial approach is to kind of bump the carbohydrates and calories up first and then reverse diet. Um, and I'm not talking about like a thousand calorie bump. I'm talking about maybe a few hundred calories just to get their body actually like a normal state and then reverse diet. Mm -hmm. So, and then cut back on the exercise as well, mm -hmm. depending yeah, on how much they're working out. <laughs> Recovery is important. Yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously that's something that we definitely have to prioritize here a ton because... I mean, I can tell you guys, I see every single inquiry that comes in and, you know, usually 90% of women um, are in that same boat, even guys too. Um, I'm about to make a couple of posts regarding some guys that I've worked, worked with recently. And, um, you know, the fact that we have like muscular 200 pound guys eating like 1600 and 1800 calories a day. Mm -hmm. And then I actually bump their calories up to 24, 2600 and they lose 10 pounds in like four mm -hmm. weeks. It happens pr pretty often. You know, so again, you have to think about this protein created organism like requires more fuel, but they're intentionally or unintentionally not feeding it what it needs to be able to optimize itself. So